now that we've gone through and checked our table and make sure everything has looked good, we're ready to apply this and remake this table. That's right, we're gonna remake it for every tax year going back to 2016, which is why these links are here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six tables, and that sounds like a lot, but there's an easy way to recreate this table for each of these years. So let's go over that in this video. How do we copy it and set it up? So the first thing I'm gonna do is come down here, and these little tabs represent different spreadsheets or different sheets in this spreadsheet. So if we click on this little arrow, you'll see it says duplicate. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate it, and then click it again to rename it to the year I want. We'll do 2020 next. I would then go up here and change it, 2020, and change the color to something that makes sense, something different, right? And oop, this, I'm noticing this million dollars is cut off. Let's widen that, that's better. And now I have two tax tables down here, one for 2021, one for 2020. And then I would repeat the process for each of the years. So you wanna have 2019, 2018, 17, 16 down here. The only other thing you wanna include is the appropriate source for each of them. So you can go back and check anything you need to. So I have a link here, but this link is for 2020. So if I go here, I'm gonna go, that, sorry, this link is for 2021, not 2020. So I need to match it so that it actually represents 2020. So I go here, click 2020, grab this link, copy it, and then paste it in. I can click on the edit link icon, but I personally like to click Command or Control K, and that takes me right to it. I paste in the new link, hit apply. I'd ask you to repeat that process for each of the years 19, 18, 17, and 16, and then watch the next video to see what we can do with this information. So go ahead, make your spreadsheets, tabs, these are called tabs down here, one sheet per year going back to 2016.